Hello everyone. I know it's been some time since I've uploaded a video. Things are different than before. I have a full-time job now, and as some of you know on my Facebook side, I've also been dealing with PTSD problems. Anyway, I've decided to come back with a small video, and hopefully some more soon. So today, I want to look at a study conducted in 2018 that may present the best experimental evidence for quantum cognition to date. It's by a team of Chinese researchers led by Na Li, entitled Nuclear spin attenuates the anesthetic potency of xenon isotopes in mice. Implications for the mechanisms of anesthesia and consciousness. We have some pretty strong theoretical evidence in showing that cognitive processes are described by the Schrodinger equation, meaning thoughts and emotions actually behave like states and wave functions. However, we have not had much in the way of hard experimental data thus far. This paper changes that, though. It's along the lines of Fischer citation of the 1984 paper on the experiment with lithium isotopes used on rats. However, the evidence here uses four differing xenon isotopes on mice, and is much more significant and much stronger for several reasons. So the experiment used four separate isotopes of xenon gas, xenon-129, xenon-131, xenon-132, and xenon-134. Xenon-129 and 131 have quantum spins of one-half and three-halves respectively. By contrast, xenon-132 and 134 have spins of zero. What was found was that the isotopes without spin had more potency as anesthetics on the mice than the isotopes with spin. The results of this are significant for a number of reasons. First, obviously, chemical properties do not change between differing isotopes of the same element. They have the same number of valence electrons, and thus whatever change in behavior they demonstrate is due to the quantum properties of the molecule rather than its chemical properties. This is, of course, the same sort of result seen with the lithium-6 and 7 experiments. Secondly, it is interesting as this is tied directly to turning consciousness on and off itself, as what was being tested are the anesthetic properties of xenon. Whereas with the lithium isotopes, it merely affected the cognitive behavior of the rats, rather than turning them off altogether. Now, a certain objection arose to the lithium isotope experiments that was first brought to my attention by DeRez83, now known as Rational Perspectives on YouTube. What he noted was that lithium-7 is heavier than lithium-6, and thus the difference may be due to it distributing in the bloodstream more slowly due to its mass, thereby also affecting the rat's brains more slowly. The xenon experiments undercut this objection directly, however, in several important ways. First, lithium-7 is one-seventh heavier than lithium-6. By contrast, the heaviest xenon isotope in the study, xenon-134, is only one-twenty-fifth heavier than the lightest, xenon-129 and xenon-132 is only about 1 130th heavier than xenon-131. Thus, the mass difference is negligible in these experiments, and they should distribute in the bloodstream at about the same rate. Moreover, though, in these experiments, the xenon isotopes with the stronger anesthetic effect were the heavier ones, xenon-132 and 134. This is the opposite one would expect if the stronger effect of the brain was caused by later isotopes, distributing themselves to the bloodstream faster. Thus, the effect of consciousness in the mice was caused by the isotopic properties of the xenon molecules themselves, rather than their mass, as the paper's authors note themselves. This difference in potency cannot be explained, either by differences in outer electron shells, there are none, or the variations in atomic mass. What is interesting about all of this, though, is that xenon is a noble gas, meaning it should have no chemical properties at all as noble gases do not chemically interact. Thus, whatever was causing this effect to the mice's consciousness had to have been a quantum property, which in turn brings us to the final interesting fact about this study. The differences in the efficacy of the anesthetic were directly due to the quantum spin properties of the xenon molecules in question. The xenon molecules without quantum spin, xenon-132 and 134, had a stronger effect than xenon-129 and 131 with quantum spin. Thus, quantum spin apparently has a direct effect on consciousness in this study. It is important to note that the authors themselves state that the results suggest that some of the effects of xenon on consciousness may be mediated by quantum mechanisms. So there you have it, direct evidence for quantum cognition in mice, specifically tying quantum spin to the activation or deactivation of consciousness in anesthesia. The paper is in the description if you are interested. And that is all for now. See you later. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and support me on Patreon. Also, don't forget to check out the books in my Alaris novel series, Alaris the Lances of Light and Alaris the Pearl of Heaven. 
on Amazon Kindle in the description below. You can find us on Facebook as well, at Idealism and Science vs. Atheism.